Hi everyone. So in this video, we will be talking about TCS NQT exam, uh, 13th November analysis. Okay. So there is little bit difference than 20th of uh, 12th of November. Okay. So we'll discuss about it. So currently I have talked to four to five students who have attempted the exam for 13th of November. Okay. Morning shift, morning shift. Okay. So first of all, let's talk about foundation. So as we all know, there are total three section maths, reasoning and English. Okay. For the morning shift, again, the numerical was the most hard section. Reasoning little bit tough than yesterday's. So it is medium. And English again, medium. Okay. So in this shift, actually the level of reasoning was good. Like yesterday when I talked to the students, the setting enrichment question and uh, other questions were easy one to line, uh, one line kind of questions. But but in this sec, uh, in this uh, morning, actually the question level was around difficult, uh, medium. Okay. So not too easy, not too easy like yesterday, but medium level we can say. Okay. But the numeric level is little bit like 0.1 or 1% less than yesterday. Okay. Because see, I talked to the candidates and what they have mentioned, I'll just told you. Okay. So let's discuss about some talks. So this was the like major talk, which I had in quant. I have attempted a seven question, guess the rest logical reasoning attempt 14 to 16 question, guess the remaining ones in verbal. I attempted 11 plus in advanced coding. I attempt 11 question and guess the remaining three in coding uh, for the first question. One test case pass for the second question, five test case pass in coding question. The second question is you have to place the maximum element at the center of the matrix in minimum swapping. Swapping is only possible for adjacent rows and column okay and if you have idea what was the first question please tell me in the comment section okay what was the first question please tell me in the comment section because i asked uh two three candidates but uh, uh they like cannot uh, tell the question properly that's why i'm not showing okay so what was the first question please tell me okay dusri baat uh uh, talking about the scores and everything see normalization i will talk about but uh, if i talk about this uh, 13 november shift okay what is my prediction so see first of all uh, maths numeric okay numeric level is lagbag same as yesterday's level okay one point easy i can say one point easy because actually what they did now in today's exam in today's numeric actually two questions actually okay simplification and uh, one question related to the percentage was the question which you can do in yesterday's exam only candidates did four to five question or six question because each and every question was lengthy but in today's exam actually two questions were like that which we can do easily okay and i am expecting four to five questions also because when i talk to the candidate average of the all candidates are between six to seven so i'm assuming if i was talking about yesterday's uh, yesterday's cutoff as six to eight in numeric so today i can say it can be between seven to nine in numeric okay in seven to nine because Today's response with the numeric was little bit better than yesterday's. So seven to nine, I will uh, go with. Okay. And each and every day, whenever there is a next shift, always little bit con uh, the cutoff increases as some students prepare well after seeing the first uh, uh, day response. Okay. So seven to nine, I would say for reasoning again uh, it was almost for the sa same level it was easy some candidates mentioned it was like uh, three four questions are there which is little bit medium level so i i will say like again 12 to 13 plus questions will be a very good score in reasoning if you have none english so for this one actually english yesterday's english okay grammar based questions were little bit easy but in today's exam it is little bit uh, medium so for english i think uh, 11 to 13 plus the cutoff should be around it okay it can also go till 10 so 10 to 13 also i would say okay but if you have done more than 13 okay so it would be a very very good uh, uh, um, like a score but i think 10 to 13 for uh, this one can go okay talking about the coding question i am not sure with the first question what was the first question but overall again with the coding questions as uh, uh, yesterday's response was not very good but uh, uh, after seeing this i would su suggest there are total 14 test cases okay if you have combined past 
four five plus test cases there is a chance of digital combining okay combining if you have passed like four to five uh, cases plus there's a chance of digital if you have passed seven to nine plus there is a chance of prime okay there is a chance of prime so this was the analysis but what is normalization so see i think if i compare today's exam with yesterday's exam so in i think in uh, normalization basically uh, numeric ability was one point only only one point less than yesterday's exam okay because like two three questions were do, uh, doable so that's why i'm saying that okay reasoning little bit little bit medium than yesterday okay and english little bit medium than yesterday okay so this particular changes i have seen for today's cutoff prediction my prediction is for numeric it should be between 7 to 9 plus for reasoning it should be 12 plus we can say 12 to 14 plus we can say but 12 plus would be would be fine for english um i would say like uh, 12 to 13 plus score is very very good but i think the cutoff can be between 10 to 13 okay but 12 to 13 plus will be good but 10 also uh, uh, it uh, it can go because for english what the response i have got many candidates did not attempted many questions okay so uh, 10 to 13 uh, can be the cutoff also for coding again i have mentioned 4 to 5 plus test cases passes combining both the question there is a chance for digital 7 to 9 plus test cases passes there is a ch chance for prime and advanced section if you have done 8 or 9 plus okay because again it was easy for today i think there is a chance for digital okay and prime i cannot see with the advanced section so i think it would be the analysis for today's uh, uh, exam okay thank you so much for watching